Want to know the best ways to stay safe while you're traveling solo? Well, my top 10 tips are coming up. Hi, welcome back to Core Travel, the solo travel channel and website to get you to start traveling over 50 solo. In my last video, I mentioned I would pull out some really good safety tips for you. Well, I'm glad you're here because now I'm going to give you my 10 top solo travel safety tips that I have been using for decades and they do not fail. So I hope you find them useful, whether you're an experienced or new solo traveler. Before I get started, don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share it with others, as well as click the bell to get notified. So you know when the next videos are coming out so you can plan your solo travel over 50 effectively. All right, that said, let's go ahead and jump into my top 10 safety tips. Starting with number one, research your destination thoroughly. Don't just access all the travel advisories, but also go beyond and start doing some extra research on your own by talking to others who have been there or going to like say travel blog sites like Core Travel. Don't be deterred by the shock and awe news reports. Go beyond and do your due diligence and research by trying to get as much information on the location as possible. This includes knowing where the local embassies and consulates are, as well as preparing an emergency plan. Number two, inform a trusted person with all of your travel details. Whether you're sharing by an app, text, email, whatever, make copies of your important travel documents, like your passport, your itinerary, your hotel and your plane bookings, so people know where you are, where you're going. Also, don't just have these on your travel device, but make sure there's a copy somewhere that you can access them in case you lose your travel device, like in a separate email or on the cloud. Number three, buy health and travel insurance. Obtain a comprehensive health and travel insurance policy that covers all countries that you're going to and includes expatriation services. Make sure you bring all your medications and necessities, including a first aid kit with you and bring them on your carry-on and have some with you during the day when you're out and about on your travels. If your prescriptions happen to be in unlabeled containers, bring a written form of your prescriptions with you and research any medical facilities that'll be in the area where you're staying so you know where they are just in case. Number four, book the right accommodations. Choose only reliable and secure accommodations. Read the reviews. Don't be afraid to do Google Street Views as well in advance so you know what to expect. Don't be afraid to contact your hostel or hotel in advance to get more information on their location and their services. Request a room on the highest floor possible and make sure that your door is locked at all times, even during the day. Next, increase your mobility and transportation safety. Research the right clothing to take with you for your destination and make sure you pack lightly. If you can't carry your own baggage, you're bringing too much. And of course, as you know, on my website, I always promote travel carry on only because not only does it make traveling easier, but it also decreases your costs for baggage fees as well as saves time in the airport. Always plan your trip with daytime arrivals. Research public transportations as well as airport transfers as well, and only use reputable services. Number six, stay connected with at least one trusted person. This means sharing with them not only the itinerary in advance, but also updating them if there's any changes to your itinerary while you travel. Set up a predetermined day and time that you will check in periodically that way they know if they don't hear from you, something may be wrong. And then they can follow up with your hotel or other services that they know you're using just in case. And last, make sure you notify them immediately if you're encountering an emergency. Number seven, always keep your belongings secure. Only bring with you daily the amount of cash and credit cards that you need for the day. Leave all the extras secure in your hotel safe or hostel safe. When you're out and about, make sure you have a really good day bag that's secure. Never leave your bags open or unzipped. Even use a travel wallet or a hidden pouch if need be to hide your cash and credit cards. And try to avoid displaying expensive jewelry, cash, and expensive gadgets. They only draw attention to yourself. Next up, 
always know your surroundings. Try not to be distracted by all the nice new sites that you're seeing and trying to be absorbed with taking photos and videos. Make sure you know what's around you at all times. This includes being careful not to walk down deserted areas or unlit streets. Just make sure you always use your gut instinct and be aware. And if something doesn't look right, then don't go there. Next, use your technology wisely. This means don't being out and about just talking on your phone just because. This also lends with knowing your surroundings. So only use your devices as needed. So for say getting a cellular service like a SIM or an eSIM card, so you can use it when you need it for directions and other things that are vital. This also goes with making sure you're always connected to a service, whether with a cellular or Wi-Fi, and always keeping your devices charged. This means bringing a portable charger with you. And if you're traveling internationally, don't forget to leave your hotel room with an adapter. And of course, always be cautious on who you share your personal information with. This goes with locals that you meet or other travelers, even though they may seem really friendly. Don't be giving all your information away of your name, your address, where you're staying, what your plans are, etc. And likewise, be careful what you share on social media. Don't be giving all your information away. People don't need to know all the details of your trip. And also for security, never access personal accounts with a public Wi-Fi. And this includes the Wi-Fi in your hotel or hostel get a VPN service because if you need to access your bank accounts or any other personal information, you want full data security. Well, those are my top 10 solo travel safety tips. That means, yeah, I have more. In fact, check out the link I have below. It covers my top 15 solo travel safety tips to know with many more suggestions on how you can stay safe while traveling solo at any age. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and share it with other solo travelers. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to stay notified when other videos are coming out to help get you out there traveling solo over 50. All right, until the next video, this is Gwen signing out. Take care.